As the outgoing Vice President Hamid Ansari steps down, making way for the new Vice President Vikaya Naidu, in his last interview, he mouthed a scathing attack on the atmosphere of insecurity for minorities in the country. Speaking to Rajya Sabha TV, Ansari said, and I quote, a sense of insecurity is creeping in as a result of the dominant mood created by some and the resultant intolerance and vigilantism. The spate and fact of vigilantism, mob lynchings, beef bans, garbapsi campaigns have led to a breakdown of Indian values and to the breakdown of the ability of the authorities to enforce the law. जो वक्तव्य जाते जाते दिया जाता है उसको कोई मैं महत्व नहीं देता हूं अगर तीन साल पहले से आपको यह महसूस हो रहा था कि इस देश के मुसलमानों में बेचैनी है तो आप उसी वक्त त्यागपत्र देकर ये बात जनता के सामने देश के सामने रखनी चाहिए थी तब आपके वक्तव्य को महत्व मिलता आज आपके पद का आखिरी दिन है और आपको ये सब आपके मन में ये भावना जाग उठी तो ये ठीक नहीं है हमीद अंसारी साहब को हम बहुत मानते हैं उनकी तरफ से मुझे ये वक्तव्य की उम्मीद नहीं थी मीन वाइल टूडे द गवर्नमेंट ऑल्सो बेट एन इमोशनल फेवल टू दी वाइस प्रेसिडेंट हामिद अंसारी वाइल यू नो देर लॉर्डिंग एंड अप्रिशिएटेड हिस्स टेन ईयर्स ऑफ वर्क एज द वाइस प्रेसिडेंट Palami Saha joins us for more on this Palami after the Congress president Sonia Gandhi's two pronged stinging attack uh, the government uh, you know yesterday in the Lok Sabha now comes Hamid Ansari the outgoing vice president's word of caution flagging the issue of intolerance in the backdrop of the recent spate of mob attacks you know what can one make of the statement his parting shot at the government Well, uh, Hamid Ansari, of course, has been very candid in this interview that he has given to Rajya Sabha TV, and he has expressed his apprehensions about the kind of uh, alleged climate that exists in the country. He has spoken about the fact that there is a sense of unease and insecurity among the Muslims so, of uh, the nation, and he has also categorically pointed out that he has brought this up uh, in conversations with the Prime Minister, with other uh, cabinet members as uh, well. Uh, he has uh, flagged this up to them, of course. Uh, uh, in what sense, and what was the response of the government? Uh, to those uh, observations as well he says that those are uh, you know th they're confidential matters really matters mm. of a uh, conversation between the chairman of the rajya sabha the vice president of the country and the prime minister of india and his cabinet colleagues and hence he will not like to delve into the details of it but he has been pointing this out uh, for a very long time uh, the climate that has existed vis-a-vis uh, garbapsi -vis vis-a-vis car vigilantism um, uh, the attacks on rationalists across uh, the country as well he has expressed his uh, uh, you know apprehensions about about how uh, the minority community in india uh, seem to have to constantly in a sense uh, flash their car card of nationalism every time and he finds that a very disturbing uh, thought as well something that he has gathered from having spoken uh, to uh, the minority communities during his travels across uh, the country especially uh, the muslim uh, community the government though has been very uh, cynical in its response uh, to this interview and the excerpts okay. of the interview uh, the government is uh, at least the members of the bjp and their ally parties are saying that it is not fair on uh, the vice president's part the outgoing vice president's part to have flagged this up at such a later date and to have gone public with it if he had these apprehensions he should have gone public with it much earlier though of course hamid ansari says this he has brought this up in previous conversations in private conversations with the prime minister okay. and uh, union cabinet members All right, follow me. We we'll leave it at that. But thank you so much for joining us.